seven decades since the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered, around 80 new fragments of the ancient texts have been revealed to the public. For 2,000 years, ancient scrolls have held secrets buried beneath the desert sands. Scholars thought they had unlocked all they could, until AI took a closer look. What was uncovered will rewrite everything we thought we knew about history and religion. This is no longer just about ancient texts. This is about discovering a truth that has been hidden for millennia. You won't believe what was found. In 1947, a chance discovery in the caves of the Judean desert changed the course of history. The Dead Sea Scrolls, hidden for over two millennia, were uncovered by a Bedouin shepherd. They contained ancient writings that would transform our understanding of biblical history, early Judaism, and Christianity. These sacred fragments, carefully hidden in jars, included every book of the Hebrew Bible except for Esther, offering the earliest known versions of biblical texts. Scholars were thrilled. These were more than just ancient manuscripts. They were keys to the past, potentially revealing the secrets of faith and survival during a time of great turmoil. But despite all the excitement, only a handful of these scrolls were fully understood. Many of the pieces remained fragmented and unreadable, some so faint that even the best researchers struggled to decipher them. It wasn't until recently, when artificial intelligence entered the scene, that these ancient scrolls would reveal their final secrets, secrets that had been hidden for thousands of years, waiting for the right tools to unlock them. Now, decades after their discovery, AI has begun to read between the lines, literally. What the machine found has left historians and archaeologists alike stunned, suggesting these scrolls held more than just theological insight. They might hold a story of rebellion, survival, and a fight for identity. Artificial intelligence has long been a tool for advancing human knowledge. But in recent years, its application in archaeology and historical research has proven to be nothing short of revolutionary. In 2021, a team of Israeli scientists turned to AI to tackle the complex task of deciphering the remaining fragments of the Dead Sea Scrolls. While scholars had painstakingly studied these scrolls by hand, AI brought a fresh, tireless approach. AI's ability to analyze intricate patterns within ancient handwriting has allowed researchers to identify minute variations that human eyes had missed. By scanning the scrolls with hyperspectral imaging, technology capable of detecting ink that has faded over time, the AI was able to reveal text that was once invisible. This technology doesn't just show what's on the surface. It dives deeper, exposing layers of meaning hidden beneath the fragile parchment. As each fragment was scanned, the AI's algorithms began to recognize consistent patterns in the ink, and more importantly, irregularities in the strokes. These irregularities were no longer seen as errors. They were signs of something more profound. This wasn't just a matter of translating ancient texts. It was about uncovering the emotional and physical pressure behind the writing. The AI analysis suggested that some of these scrolls were not written in calm, controlled settings, but by people who were on the run, scribes forced to write in haste under the threat of imminent danger. This finding was a game changer, as it suggested the scrolls weren't merely religious texts, they were documents written under duress, perhaps as a form of resistance. The AI's breakthroughs did not stop at revealing hidden ink, it also unearthed what seemed to be messages buried within the very structure of the scrolls. The fragments found in the Cave of Horror, an inaccessible site in the desert, were particularly revelatory. Unlike the earlier, neatly preserved scrolls discovered in 1947, these fragments appeared chaotic, torn, burned, and scattered. Yet, with AI's help, they began to tell a new story. What stood out was the mixture of Greek and Hebrew. Most of the Dead Sea Scrolls are written in Hebrew and Aramaic, so discovering Greek text was a significant clue. Greek was the language of the Roman Empire, and the fact that these sacred texts were written in Greek suggested a community navigating both religious identity and political oppression. Even more intriguing, the name of God, Yahweh, was preserved in ancient Hebrew script, while the rest of the text was in Greek. This duality was no accident. It hinted at a deep reverence for the sacred name, even in the face of Roman rule. 
the AI revealed that some verses from the book of Zechariah, which speaks of the return from exile, and the book of Nahum, which describes divine judgment, were preserved in these fragments. This wasn't just scripture, it was a message of hope for a community living under siege, fighting to preserve their faith and identity. This finding suggested that these scrolls were not merely written for religious reflection, they were written in defiance of an empire that sought to erase them. One of the most unexpected findings from the AI analysis was the insight into the physical act of writing itself. The handwriting on the newly discovered scrolls was not uniform. It showed signs of stress, tremors, and irregularities that had previously gone unnoticed. The researchers noted that some of the letters were shaky, with uneven ink pressure and distorted strokes. The AI flagged these inconsistencies, suggesting that these were not the work of professional scribes, but rather ordinary people, possibly under duress. In the context of the Bar Kokhba revolt, when these scrolls were likely written, this discovery takes on a whole new meaning. The revolt, a desperate attempt by the Jews to resist Roman occupation, ended in tragedy. The Roman army crushed the revolt, and many Jews were either killed or enslaved. The writings in the scrolls, with their trembling letters, may have been written in fear by people who knew they might never see the light of day again. As the AI continued its analysis, it revealed more than just the structure of the scrolls. It began to uncover what the scrolls were truly saying. The content of these fragments wasn't just theological reflection. The altered phrases, the changes in wording, and the inconsistent use of Greek suggested that the scrolls might have been written as a form of resistance. The verses from Nahum and Zechariah, for example, were not just scripture, they were political statements. They spoke of divine justice and the return of the exiled people. The book of Nahum, which describes the shaking of mountains before the wrath of God, was particularly telling. This wasn't the comforting image of a peaceful, loving God. This was a picture of a vengeful deity who would bring judgment upon the oppressors. It was a message not just for the faithful, but for the empire that was crushing them. The verses didn't speak of quiet submission. They spoke of rebellion, of divine retribution against an empire that had oppressed and destroyed their people. This idea of resistance was further reinforced by the physical act of writing. The trembling letters, the inconsistent strokes, were evidence of people writing in fear, in haste, as they prepared for an inevitable confrontation. These were not just scribes writing scripture. They were rebels holding on to hope, preserving their faith, and recording their defiance against the Roman Empire. For decades, the Dead Sea Scrolls were a source of fascination, their secrets locked away in fragile fragments. Scholars had painstakingly pieced together the scrolls, but much of the text remained unreadable due to their fragile condition. It wasn't until the integration of artificial intelligence that researchers began to see beyond the limitations of human analysis. AI algorithms were employed to go beyond the surface-level examination of the scrolls, they utilized hyperspectral imaging, a technology that scans beyond the visible spectrum, detecting the faintest traces of ink that had long since faded from the human eye. The AI was trained to recognize handwriting patterns, ink types, and even variations in the wear of the parchment. These minute details, invisible to scholars working with traditional methods, allowed AI to reconstruct entire sections of the scrolls, sometimes revealing passages that had been thought lost forever. But this was more than just reading faded ink. The AI began to detect patterns in the structure of the text, repeated phrases, inconsistent spacing, and irregular letter strokes that spoke volumes. The AI's capacity to analyze such intricate details with precision helped the team discover connections between fragments that had been previously considered unrelated. It didn't just bring clarity to the text, it began to tell a different story altogether, a story that hadn't been understood before. What emerged from the AI's analysis of the Dead Sea Scrolls was more than just a biblical interpretation, it was a revelation of theological resistance, an act of defiance that had been preserved for over two millennia. The AI didn't just help researchers read the texts, it unveiled the hidden layers of meaning within them. 
Scholars had assumed these texts were simply religious writings, but the AI brought out their political significance. The altered language, the subtle shifts in phrasing, the choice to write some words in Greek while preserving the sacred name of God in Hebrew were not mere scribal quirks. They were deliberate choices, made in defiance of an empire that sought to erase the identities of its conquered people. The use of Greek, the language of the Roman Empire, alongside Hebrew, was a quiet rebellion against Roman control. In particular, the verses from Nahum and Zechariah were not just about divine justice or the return from exile. They spoke of a people resisting oppression, of holding on to their identity and faith in the face of annihilation. These were not just the writings of religious devotees. They were the words of rebels, recorded in haste, under threat, in an effort to preserve their beliefs and their survival. As the AI continued its analysis, it revealed more than just the structure of the scrolls. It began to uncover what the scrolls were truly saying. The content of these fragments wasn't just theological reflection. The altered phrases, the changes in wording, and the inconsistent use of Greek suggested that the scrolls might have been written as a form of resistance. The verses from Nahum and Zechariah, for example, were not just scripture, they were political statements. They spoke of divine justice and the return of the exiled people. The book of Nahum, which describes the shaking of mountains before the wrath of God, was particularly telling. This wasn't the comforting image of a peaceful, loving God. This was a picture of a vengeful deity who would bring judgment upon the oppressors. It was a message not just for the faithful, but for the empire that was crushing them. The verses didn't speak of quiet submission. They spoke of rebellion, of divine retribution against an empire that had oppressed and destroyed their people. This idea of resistance was further reinforced by the physical act of writing. The trembling letters, the inconsistent strokes, were evidence of people writing in fear, in haste, as they prepared for an inevitable confrontation. These were not just scribes writing scripture. They were rebels holding on to hope, preserving their faith, and recording their defiance against the Roman Empire. For decades, the Dead Sea Scrolls were a source of fascination, their secrets locked away in fragile fragments. Scholars had painstakingly pieced together the scrolls, but much of the text remained unreadable due to their fragile condition. It wasn't until the integration of artificial intelligence that researchers began to see beyond the limitations of human analysis. AI algorithms were employed to go beyond the surface-level examination of the scrolls. They utilized hyperspectral imaging, a technology that scans beyond the visible spectrum, detecting the faintest traces of ink that had long since faded from the human eye. The AI was trained to recognize handwriting patterns, ink types, and even variations in the wear of the parchment. These minute details, invisible to scholars working with traditional methods, allowed AI to reconstruct entire sections of the scrolls, sometimes revealing passages that had been thought lost forever. But this was more than just reading faded ink. The AI began to detect patterns in the structure of the text, repeated phrases, inconsistent spacing, and irregular letter strokes that spoke volumes. The AI's capacity to analyze such intricate details with precision helped the team discover connections between fragments that had been previously considered unrelated. It didn't just bring clarity to the text, it began to tell a different story altogether, a story that hadn't been understood before. What emerged from the AI's analysis of the Dead Sea Scrolls was more than just a biblical interpretation, it was a revelation of theological resistance, an act of defiance that had been preserved for over two millennia. The AI didn't just help researchers read the texts, it unveiled the hidden layers of meaning within them. Scholars had assumed these texts were simply religious writings, but the AI brought out their political significance. The altered language, the subtle shifts in phrasing, the choice to write some words in Greek while preserving the sacred name of God in Hebrew were not mere scribal quirks. They were deliberate choices, made in defiance of an empire that sought to erase the identities of its conquered people. 
The use of Greek, the language of the Roman Empire, alongside Hebrew, was a quiet rebellion against Roman control. In particular, the verses from Nahum and Zechariah were not just about divine justice or the return from exile. They spoke of a people resisting oppression, of holding on to their identity and faith in the face of annihilation. These were not just the writings of religious devotees. They were the words of rebels, recorded in haste, under threat, in an effort to preserve their beliefs and their survival.